Uncle Martin, dinner's ready. It's gone. His spaceship's gone. He didn't even say goodbye. Whoa. Uncle Martin, I thought you'd gone. No, no, I'm still here. But what happened to the spaceship? I don't know. When I opened the garage, it was gone. <laughs> well, it couldn't just leave on its own. Could it? No, no, it couldn't. It's been stolen. That's the only answer. Come on, let's report it. Good idea. Good idea. We'll call the police. Right. Tell them there's been a robbery. Yeah. Tell them somebody broke into the garage and stole my spaceship. Uh, the one I was repairing so that I could fly back to Mars. <laughs> then both of us can spend the rest of our time in a nice padded cell. You're right. They'd think we were a couple of kooks. Uh, the kookiest. <laughs> Well, this is ridiculous. We've been robbed and we can't even report it to anybody. <laughs> the first time since I landed here, I have no way to get back home. <laughs> Can you imagine? They left those old toys right in the middle of my garage. It's difficult to face, but I may have to spend the rest of my life right here on Earth. I suppose it wasn't good enough for them. Huh. Some junk man. Junk man? <laughs> toys? Garage? Yes, would you believe it? A snob junk man. <laughs> I gave him the key to my garage and I told him to pick up those things and they were all still there. Mrs. Brown, what was the name of that junk man? What's the difference? Even if they gave me a card, I'd never call him again anyway. <laughs> but you didn't get his name? Certainly not. Didn't you get a receipt? What for? He didn't take anything. <laughs> you know what kind of truck it is? Oh, yes. It, it was one of those trucks with, uh, it was four wheels. <laughs> Four wheels. That's all? Oh, in a driver's seat. Now, well, you know how it is. When you've seen one truck, you've seen them all. There are exceptions. Oh, those men upset me so much, I almost forgot dinner was on the stove. If you hear of a reliable junk dealer, let me know. Well, now we know what happened. Somehow she gave those junk men the wrong key to the wrong garage. But which junk men? That's the question. Well, couldn't you read her mind? Tim. Trying to read Mrs. Brown's mind is like trying to read a can of alphabet soup. All the letters are there, but they don't spell anything. <laughs> Look at that. Your spaceship. <laughs> yeah, what's the matter? Tim, I want you to do me a favor before I take off. T take off? You mean you're going to try and fly that thing out of here? What about the tear in the hull? I thought you couldn't fly it like that. Into outer space, no. But it's perfectly safe for a short hop. Oh, Uncle Martin, forget it. I now, Tim, it's obvious Mr. Carter hates chisels. What I want you to do is go and buy me one ticket on the ride, and then somehow pay him $10 for the spaceship. Oh, no. No, don't disappear me now, please. Can you and I just stand here and discuss this like two reasonable human beings? <laughs> Correction. One reasonable human being. <laughs> go buy the ticket. Another ticket, please. For your flying friend? Yeah. Fifteen cents, please. Well, before you said there were two for a quarter. And that's if you buy them at the same time. a disconnected spacecraft. Please move to the next one. Thank you. Oh, they're all full. We'll have to wait for the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos,